Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna to show you a quick and easy way to add a rod holder to your boat. As you can see here on my leaning post, I've got quite a few rod holders, but it didn't actually come with all of these. It only came with uh, the four that you see here on the back side. I'm actually gonna take you guys in closer to get a better look at everything. All right guys, so here's a closer look at my leaning post with the rod holders. You can see these rod holders here are welded on, so they came with leaning post. And then you can see the new ones I've added on are these clamp-on rod holders. Um, I, the name of the rod holders escapes me, but I'll have it pop up right here. I got two of them for a pretty good price. Uh, I'll provide a link to these rod holders in the uh, description below, so if you guys are interested, you can check that out. But they've held up pretty well, because I do a lot of light tackle fishing, where I have several rods. Sometimes I'll have, just for myself, two to five rods. So I'll have a different rod tied on with a different lure so I can just pick it up, use it, and if I'm gonna try something else, I can just grab it without having to retie. So that's why I like to have a lot of rods on the boat, hence the reason to add additional rod holders. These have actually worked really well so far. Um, I need to add another one because I have extra space here. If I step back, you can see the four that are there. So now I can add a fifth one. So I bought another one. And you can see here, it just has the clamp here. It's just a clamp and it's got these two screws. They're just, you just need a 3 16th uh, Allen wrench to put these on. And you can see it's really, really easy. So to install it, all you need is this 3 16th Allen wrench. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is take off one of these screws just so that I can pull up in the clamp and then I'll put it over the rail over here. You can see I've got that there. I may have to loosen this top one a little bit too, just so I can get around the rail. Yeah, that should be enough clearance now. All right, so now that I have the clamp loose, all I have to do is take it, put it over the rail here. And then I'm gonna kinda gauge where I want it. Let's see. I may have to actually rearrange these guys too. All right guys, I have the rod holder where I want it. I've kind of already tightened down the screws because I didn't want it to slip around as I'm showing it to you. Then I kind of spaced out just the one to the right. Um, I may have to adjust it again later, but we'll see and I'll just use it as it is. Now all I gotta do, since I've tightened down this bottom one, uh, Mostly, I just got to tighten this top one. All right, there you go. So I got both of the screws tightened. That rod holder is on there. Pretty solid. So let me give you guys a look of what all of them look like. All right, so here's all the rod holders now. And again, the front five are just the bolt-on ones. Here's the new one here on the far left. And you can see the four um, that are welded on. So now I can put nine rods in my setup that I have here. So let me actually go get a couple rods so you can just see, give you an idea of what it looks like. All right, guys, so I've got six rods that I put in here. You can see the front three are being used, and then I put three on the back as well, just so you can see the spacing's pretty good. It won't mess up with anything. And uh, here are the rods. And again, the reason I like to have so many rods available, as you can see here, I've got different baits here. So if I wanted to use this NLBN, I could pick it up. If I want to downsize to BKD, I could do that. Go really big to this uh, Spro type jig or go back to a, another NLBN there. And you can see here, this is a big boss BKD. And there's a diamond jig, which is really great for super deep water. All right guys, so that was a quick and easy way to add a rod holder to your boat, or in my case, five rod holders. The bolt-on rod holders makes it really, really simple. All you gotta do is just screw it onto your rail. I could also put them on my T-top on the sides or even on the top of the T-top, um, which I may actually do, but we'll see. Um, this right now works great for me. But if you guys are interested in the rod holders, I'll provide a link in the description below to where you can get them. If you guys have any comments or questions about the rod holder, let me know in the comment section below. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.
I mean, the fish ain't as big. Be careful how you grab it, how you grab it so you don't break the tip. Tyler, don't wrap around the braid. Yeah. Okay. You want to be like You want to grab the model. What's that? 